That, that's um, you know that, that's that's sort of what uh, the situation we were in. Um, <clears throat> they were uh, taking good at bats against him. Um, you know, there there's a, the thought of um, trying to um, go to your pen in the first inning or the second inning. Uh, but there's a significant cost potentially uh, for a potential game seven. Uh, so I just felt that we needed to get some more innings out of uh, Hunjin to keep our highest leverage guys available um, for a potential game seven. Other questions? Uh, Dylan again. Fair to assume then that if this were a game seven, that, that you would have gone to the pen earlier. Yeah, if it was a um, you know do or die game, then uh, we would have uh, went to. It would have been an all hands on deck situation where we we would have um, gone to the pen uh, earlier. Uh, but again, to be all in in a game and to not come out on the on the winning side of it, then there's a significant cost. Uh, JP, we'll get you the microphone down here in the first row. I guess other than Ryu, are any of the pitchers that we saw today just flat out unavailable tomorrow? Um, outside of, of uh, Ryu, uh, everyone will be available. So uh, with that, we're, we're in a good spot. Other questions? Uh, Dylan? That said, even taking in game seven into account, how, how much do you hate kind of having to do that, though? That, you know, this is still obviously an NLCS game six. Uh, you guys weren't totally out of it, right, within striking distance. I mean, how, how difficult is that? No, it, it's tough. Um, but when, you, when you're down three runs after the first inning and you ultimately score two runs anyway, so to look back and, and have used all your guys – and to still only score two runs, for me, it wouldn't have been the right dis uh, decision regardless. Here in the first row, Jared. How much did it hurt not force them to bring Hader into this game at all tonight? Yeah, I, I mean, that's their, their best reliever. And, and obviously, you know, you would have liked to have kept the game close enough to have them use him tonight. So um, they got away tonight because of the... Uh, the run differential, they didn't have to use them. So um, it's just important for us, again, for Walker to go out there and throw the ball well and for our guys to give us a lead and um, put the pressure on them. Other questions for Dave? Uh, Jesse, we'll take just a couple more. Looking at Shasin tomorrow, I mean, you saw him a little bit more because he was in the West last year. Uh, what, is, is he pitching better than you've ever seen him, and, and why, in your opinion? Um, he's using his um, curveball more. Keeps the ball down well. Um, obviously has a slider. It's really tough on right-handers. Um, and he's got a two-seamer that, that runs. So um, we've seen him a lot. Um, we know how he's going to attack us. And now it's about taking taking advantage of uh, potential mistakes. I'll take two more, starting with Dylan. What are you expecting from the kid tomorrow? I, I think Walker is um, prepared for this moment. Um, as far as his, his rest... Uh, he, he's ready to go, and as far as his heartbeat, the weapons, all that stuff, we're in really good shape with him, and um, he understands the magnitude of this moment, this game, and he's a good person for us to take the baseball. He'll finish up with Tom. But Dave, Craig Council said before the game tonight that their offense had been struggling and that maybe the fan energy could get them going, and it seemed like the first inning, that's exactly what happened. Was that sort of, from your side, the worst-case scenario a rally, the fans getting into it, and them finally getting uh, broken loose on offense. They uh, they did a good job. Um, you know, even the uh, the uh, Kane at bat in the first inning to just put a ball in play and to, and to leg out a base hit, infield single, and, and the Aguilar ball that was off the plate that he kept fair. Um, and, and obviously the fans, with the way they responded, um, whether it was the, the runs and then the fans or the fans and then the energy from the players, but it, it was really good energy tonight. 